Hello everyone. Uh, so my name is Archit Palivar. I am pursuing integrated MTech from IAPS DAV University in Dhaka. So in this session, we'll be addressing about the system view of project management and how to deploy the IT project. But managing the project required to understand the different organizational structure and what is the role of organizational culture towards the IT projects. We also need to understand what is the role of top management and the stakeholder and their commitment towards the success of the project. In addition, we need to understand the different phases of the project life cycle. Uh, we will also discussing about the latest trends uh, which are affecting the IT projects and uh, that is uh, globalization, uh, virtual teams and outsourcing. Now, project cannot be run in isolation. The project must operate in a broad organizational environment. The project manager needs to use the system thinking. That is taking a holistic view of carrying out the project within the context of the organization. That is the project manager need to treat a whole project as a single unit, as a single system. Now, senior manager must make sure the project continue to support the current business need. That is, if the project doesn't support the current business need, then it will not be profitable for the organization. Now, a system view of project management. A system approaches emerged in 1950 to describe a more analytical approach to the management and problem solving. A three parts include a system philosophy, system analysis, and system management. A system philosophy and overall model of thinking about things as a system. We already discussed that project manager need to treat a whole project as a single system. Now, a system analysis. So in this, the, we, we, the project manager need to analyze the problem using the current data or using the data from the past experiences. Now, system management. The system management addresses the business, technolog technological and organizational issues before making a huge changes to the system. Uh, this is the three-sphere model of system management, which is important in project management. The three-sphere model of system management is a business, organization and technology. These models are giving a big impact towards the system management in project, which, ca which can be succeed or fail. Uh, everything is dependent on this model and how we handle basically it relates to the WH question, which is what, why, how and et etc. In business, it required a long term planning. We need to obtain a business requirement from the stakeholder, whether that is sponsor, sales or even a stakeholder as well as to achieve the objective. It also needs to understand the market competitor and other external process. Then the technology. We need to know how each and every tool and technology works and we need to know the strength, benefit, limitation and cost of it. Then the organization which important because here we can help the top management of the project and how the project manager will in charge the whole project and his team member. Therefore, we need to see uh, also the system management in systematic or not is there a problem among them and how the project manager distribute the task. There's if everything is fine so that the project will be excellent and success. If basically the top management or the senior manager able to understand the, the question arises by the integration of this business organization technology, then project uh, will be go for the succession. Now, the three basic organizational structure, the functional project and metrics. The infunctional structure manager directly report to the CEO, then project structure, the program manager reports to the CEO. In metric structure, middle ground between the functional and project structure, personnel uh, often report to two or more bosses. The structure can be weak, balanced or a strong metric. That is, the report will pass to a different level of organization before presenting to the CEO. Now, this is the whole structure, uh, the functional structure, project structure and metric structure. Basically, the IT companies which are already launched are, are profitable products are using the metric structure in their companies. Now, organizational culture. So what is the organizational culture? The organizational culture is a set of shared assumption, values, behavior that are characterized the functioning of an organization. Many experts believe that the underlying cause of many companies problem are not the structure or staff, but the culture. That is, that's why the, the nowadays many IT companies are investing a huge amount of their budget for maintaining the I, um, organizational culture. That is the stressless and happy culture. Why they are investing so much? Because if they not maintain the culture, then the people will start migrating towards the different companies. We have uh, one example like the, in a uh, year 2011, a in the Tesla employees uh, around many of the Tesla employees move towards the different companies because of the organization culture. Uh, there is one example more in a, a paper titled A Study in Project Failure. A two researchers examined the success and failure of the 214 IT projects over an eight year period in several European countries. The researchers found that only one in eight, that is the 12.5%, were considered successful in terms of meeting scope, time, and cost. Code. The author said that the culture within many organizations is often to be blamed. Among other things, 
people often do not discuss important leadership stakeholder and risk management issue but the major cause of the behind the project failure is the organization culture now what are the 10, ten characteristics required for the uh, good organization culture it is the member identity group emphasis people focus unit integration control risk tolerance reward criteria conflict tolerance means and orientation and open system focus these are the top 10 characteristics of the good organization culture the importance of top management commitment the people in a top management position are the key stakeholders in the project a very important factor is helping project managers successfully lead project is the level of commitment and support they receive from the top management without top management commitment many projects will fail the sub project uh, some project will have senior manager called champion who act as a key proponent for a project now how top management can be help project management? Somehow the top managers are not directly involved with the project, uh, pro direct project directly, but indirectly they are supporting the project and they are the essential part of the project life cycle. Now, what are they? What are their roles? They are providing adequate resources, approving a unique project need in the timely manner, getting cooperation from their other parts of the organization, mentoring and coaching on the leadership issues. Now, these are the recent trends affecting the IT projects. This is uh, globalization, outsourcing, virtual team, and agile project management. What is globalization? And what are the major issues and suggestions related to globalization? The, what are the issues like communication gap? Because if uh, some there or different countries are using their different languages, so the communication is a major issues of the globalization. Then trust issue, uh, common work practices. Even if the uh, teammates are working in the same organization, but they are in the different companies, uh, different countries then there, there is a difference in the common work practices and what are the tools they are using a best example is that china is not using whatsapp they are using wechat instead of that they are not using facebook they are using uh, their own social networking so this is this is only the example they are also using only the tools which are uh, developed by the china so this is a major issue now suggestion employ employ greater project discipline think global but act locally Keep project momentum going. Use a newer tools and technology. Now, outsourcing. Why uh, companies are going towards the outsourcing? These are the reasons. Like organizations remain competitive by using the outsourcing to their advantages, such as finding ways to reduce the cost. The project manager should need to become more familiar with the negotiating the contractor and other outsourcing issues. Now, this is an example of global globalization uh, outsourcing issues. The outsourcing also has disadvantages. Uh, for an example, Apple benefits from the manufacturing products in China, but it had a big problem there after its iPhone 4 launch launched in January 2012. Caused a fighting between the migrant workers who were hired by the sculptors to stand in the line by, to buy an iPhone. When Apple said it would not be open its store in, in Beijing, riots resulted in a people attack security guards, the Beijing Apple store, and had a problem before. In May 2011, four people were injured when a crowd waiting to buy the iPad 2 turned ugly. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the virtual team? Uh, this is my favorite part of the PPT. Now, in this situation, everyone is working from home and they're using their the virtual tool for interacting with the people. Even in the uh, IT companies, in the colleges and in the school, the, they are using the virtual tools. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages? We already know, but somehow the increasing competitiveness and responsiveness by having a team of workers around available 24-7. Lowering the cost because many virtual workers do not require office space or support beyond their home offices. Providing more expertise and flexibility by having the team member from across the globe working anytime of a day of time. Increase the work life balance for the team member by eliminating the fixed office hours and the need to travel and the need to travel to work. And surveys show that the 30% of IT employees are giving more than two hours for traveling from home to their office premises. The virtual team disadvantages, isolating team members, increasing the potential of communication problem, reducing the ability of our team member to network and transfer information formally, increasing the dependence on technology to accomplish work and see next for the list of the factors that will help virtual team succeed, including the team processes, trust relationship, leadership styles and team member selection. Now, this is a chapter summary we already that covered. A project manager need to take a system approach when working on a project. Organization have four different frames: structure, human, resource, political, and symbolic. The structure and the culture of an organization have a strong implication for the project manager. 
the project should successfully pass through each phase of the project life cycle the project manager need to consider several factor due to the unique context of the information technology project recent trend affecting the it project management such include globalization outsourcing virtual teams and agile so that's it from my end uh, if thank you for watching this video if you have any kind of doubt or question feel free to ask in the comment section